shop. Today we're going to do a uh, another rod building video. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, show you how to build or how to make multiple color trim. Uh, I.e. if you've got, say you want to do a custom rod with the colors of your favorite professional sports team or your favorite college sports team and you want to incorporate the school colors or you want to incorporate the team colors into the rod how you can make multiple colors back to back with the trim bands and uh, I guess the, the overall effect is to try and make the rod look, look similar to the jerseys uh, when you got schools that have multiple colors like two or even sometimes three colors in their in their jerseys uh, this is a good way to do it so uh, without any more talking it's just much easier to show you I'll relocate the camera over the rod bench here and we'll uh, and we'll uh, we'll do some we'll do some multiple color trim bounds hi right, guys we're back I've uh, I've gone ahead and I've installed the guide already and uh, I've got green uh, set up on my on my thread carriage and I have gold my secondary color and then I just I took a piece of white and I cut off a piece of white I've got about 12 14 inches of white here for the accent color okay so what I'm going to do and the, I would recommend this for somebody who's doing this for the first time just to kind of help you out is take a pencil and kind of lay out where you want your colors just so you have reference uh, say I want an accent color here uh, and an accent color here which means my secondary would go right here and then uh, my primary color on either side of it just so you kind of have an idea of where you're going and then say I want to start my primary color right there okay so just so you kind of have a layout I don't I don't do this anymore because I've done enough of these but uh, sometimes just putting a pencil mark on there to to help you with the layout is is helpful now what I'm gonna do is zoom in here okay and let's uh, let's start doing a wrap so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my primary color first I'm gonna I'm gonna start a wrap uh, just like any other just like any other color wrapping it's this is there's no mystery here if you've been building rods at all this is the same way you've started thread wrappings from day one so we are going to go over the tutorial on that so now I got a few wraps on there I'm gonna take and trim off that excess give it one more just to for general purpose now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna install a finishing loop right there put a wrap on it and then I'm gonna take and I'm going to install another finishing loop just a little ways next to that one the first one put a wrap on that one I'm going to take and I'm going to install yet another finishing loop right there okay and that's through so I've got three finishing loops in there and I'm pretty sure you could probably tell where I'm going with this already now I've got my thread carriage tension set pretty tight right here and that's that's kind of important to making this whole thing work because you don't want you don't want it to be loose <clears throat> so now I'm getting to the point where I'm going to start needing to think about uh, putting in my white for my accent color So I'm going, to, I'm going to finish off, I'm going to snip my green like I'm going to finish off and I'm going to install that green end through the first loop that I made, like so. Then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to stick it in that same loop and then I'm going to pull them through with, those, with that first finishing loop. Snug it up there first, and I'm just going to pull it through. I'm not going to trim tag ends or nothing. I'm just going to 
I'm gonna pull it straight through underneath like that. And I know that white is sticking out, and that's fine. We can make that we can make that work. So I'm gonna snip off that end. I'm gonna snip off that white. I'm gonna close up the gap. Like so. Okay. So we've got our white in place. Now what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my white and I'm going to put on one, two, three wraps. Snip it. I'm going to put my white through the second loop that I installed. Just like so. And I'm going to pull that through. Now this one, before I pull it through, I'm going to snip it pretty short, just like that. Put my finger on here to hold the base and jerk it through pretty quick. And now it's gone and there's no finishing to be worried about with that. I'm going to pack that white band over just a little. Just like so. Okay, now I'm going to take my, my yellow and I, yes, I know there's still a loop in there and that's fine. That's intentional, that's where we want it to be. Now I'm gonna take my yellow, and I'm gonna start my yellow. Same way, start every other color. With the, cro with the crossover kind of starting. Like so. Get a few wraps on it. Here again, I've got my thread carriage tension set up pretty tight, and that's, in that's intentional. So we get a good lock on these threads and as I go I'm going to kind of pack the threads over nice and tight and get rid of any gaps. Okay, I'm snip off my excess and now I'm going to install another loop. Put a few wraps on. And I'm going to install, yes, another loop. I have these trim band loops laying all over the place and they're, they're super easy to make. I use this, I use this uh, spider, wire, spider wire stealth braid, make my own loops. Uh, one spool of this will last you a million years. It's extremely durable. It's very slippery, so it works really good for making these loops, these finishing loops. And you can have plenty of them laying around. I used to buy them. I don't buy them anymore. So now I'll put on a few wraps as wide as I want my secondary color. Like so, that's enough. Snip off my yellow. No, I did not put the white one in there, I know that. Again, that's intentional. Don't need to anymore. So the yellow is finished. I'm going to install my white one in the next loop. Okay, see the white sticking out there? No worries. Let's pack the threads. Let's take this white. We'll just pull it through until it disappears. No worries, no problems. So now we're gonna go one, two, three wraps of white. Stick it back through the loop. Trim it back a touch 
and pull it through. Pack the threads back up a little bit. Now we just take our green Finish off our green a little, pack it off, make sure everything's nice and level. Get a few wraps on here, trim off the excess, install our finishing loop one this time, like so. and finish it off. There it is. Snip it. Put it through. Snug it up. Cut it short. Finish it off. Oh, look at that. There's a gap there. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it's gone. Whew. Crisis averted. So at any rate, now what we've got is you've got a jersey looking trim band. Oh, look at that. We have that little piece of, piece of white sticking out there. What on earth are we going to do about that? Just take your burnishing tool run it over a few times with your burnishing tool and the white is gone and there you have it now what I like to do with this and and you don't have to do this but I, I like to do this with with these things now these trim bands are sometimes just a little tiny bit fragile because you've only got two or three wraps in there it's they're a little unstable so what I like to do back out here a little bit I like to take a little bit of uh, color preserver uh, any kind of brand this this happens to be flex coat uh, color preserver I got it on sale I like to I like to apply a little bit of color preserver uh, because this does it, it's not for the color preserving aspect of it it is simply because this stuff is sticky as heck and it's like glue and it dries crystal clear and it makes absolutely no effect on the way that the, the thread looks once you get the finished coat epoxy on there and it locks those relatively fragile trim bands into place and since this has no structural integrity for the rod it's all purely ornamental it uh, it's not going to affect how the epoxy adheres the guide and it'll just it'll just lock these colors into place so there we have it there we have there we have a multicolor trim band set up so that you can represent your alma mater sports team or your favorite professional sports team and what I typically do is I'll do then this is my own preference I will do uh, the first two guides on the rod the stripper and the one that immediately follows the stripper with uh, with the colors and then the rest of them I'll just use the, the main color or the base color uh, in this case the dark green and then back by the by the butt section of the rod I'll, I'll do several trim bands just to kind of dress it up a little bit but there you go there's a uh, there's a three color, three color jersey trim. It's uh, it's a little labor intensive, but the uh, the effect is very very good. And you can see that uh, 
you can see that it makes a really nice looking bit of trim. Zoom in nice and close for you. So there you go. Like I said, a little labor intensive, but the overall effect is, is pretty is pretty impressive. And that's that's the way I like to do it. Now I'm sure there's 800,000 different ways of doing this. And please, by all means, do uh, do it the way that you're most comfortable. But I find that doing this this version of it leaves no trace of ends anywhere. It just it's nice, clean, sharp transition lines, and uh, it's it's just a very clean way of doing it, and it's a very simple way of doing it. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope that some of you can get some use out of this, or you try it. At least try it, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. At least you said you tried it, and you never know. Might be the might be the new way for you to do it. At any rate, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to message me. I'll, uh, I'll always answer questions. I have, I'm not selfish about this stuff at all. If you guys want to ask questions, you want to learn something, please let me know, and I'll, I'll do what I can to help you out. So at any rate, uh, Ed here again. Thank you again for stopping. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, give me, uh, give me some constructive criticism, and I'd be more than happy to make some changes. So uh, have a great day. And uh, good luck fishing.